everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're diving into how integrated payment terminals work with Odoo and specifically Stripe. So let's get into it. When you are using an integrated payment terminal with Odoo, here is what you can expect. The amount to be paid is automatically sent from Odoo to the payment terminal. The transaction is either validated or declined depending on the payment provider's response. Now, refunds are not yet integrated, but this might change in the future. So before you get started, here is what you need to check when choosing a payment terminal. When selecting a payment terminal, it's important to check the following elements. Does Odoo integrate with the payment provider? You can check uh, this information by going on our online documentation. If the payment provider isn't listed, it means we don't have an integration for that provider. Let's go ahead and take a look to our online documentation. So here I'm on the payment terminal section and you can see the different payment providers we have an integration with. The country is also very important. So some countries are only available in specific ones. Then the model of the terminal is also important, so you need to check if Odoo has a compatibility with a specific payment terminal for that payment provider. And then, is the use of an IoT box required for the integration? If so, please note that you need one IoT box per payment terminal, as the communication process is quite complex and requires an exclusive path. The IoT can either be physical or virtual, we also call it the Windows IoT. Now lastly, the version of Voodoo is also important. Ensure that the payment provider integration is supported in your version. You can verify this directly in your database by reviewing the POS settings. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here I'm going to jump into the, the configuration of my point of sale in the settings. And if you scroll down, you will see we have the payment terminal section here where you can verify if the payment provider is compatible in your version. Stripe provides a global coverage, so be sure to check our online documentation to confirm support in your country. A variety of terminal models are compatible with Stripe, so you'll find the full list in the documentation. Since Stripe uses an API-based integration, no IoT box is required. Okay guys, let's walk through setting up your Stripe terminal with the do. So the first thing to do would be to go in the point of sale application to the configurations, settings, Scroll down to the Payment Terminal section and here you can activate the Stripe module. Good. So once that's done, we can navigate to your Stripe account. Now let's go ahead. So I'm logged in here on our Stripe test uh, platform. Now if you don't have an account, navigate to stripe.com and you can create one for yourself. Good. So the first thing to do would be to navigate to the Terminal section. And here we're going to create an allocation if that's not already done. So here you need to enter the uh, address of your shop. Now I have already one set up here. And once that's done, you can link the payment terminal here, the reader, to this location. So let's go ahead. For that, you can go in the Stripe menu of your payment terminal. You can add the admin pin. And this will give you access to generate a pairing code. Now the pairing code we're going to use to link the payment terminal to the Stripe platform. Great. So here I get my pairing code. So let's go ahead and register the payment terminal. So here it's upgraded. Quick grant. So that's the code. Let's go ahead and take a look if the pairing occurs correctly. So here you can see we have the location. You can just uh, click through if that's the correct one. Great. So here you can see the payment terminal appears. Now, if you click on the payment terminal, you will be able to copy the serial number just here. So let's go ahead and do that. Good. So now we can actually go back in Odoo. And the next thing to do would be to create a payment method. So let's go ahead configurations, payment method. And here you can see I've already created a payment method called Stripe and I've linked it to the bank journal. So here in integration, you can select terminal, integrate with Stripe, and here you can add the serial number of the payment terminal. Let's go ahead and save that. Good, so now the next step would be to do the uh, connection with the API keys. So for that, you can just click here 
on the link. That's the payment provider Stripe, and you can put it, you can enable it, of course, publish it, uh, but right now we're just going to use the test mode. So the next step would be to go ahead and take the publishable keys and the secret key. For that, we need to go back in our Stripe dashboard. Let's go ahead to developers. And here you can see the section API key. So it's very easy. You can just click here the publishable key, go back to the platform, go back and take the secret key now. And that's it. Now, the webhook you don't really need, but if you're using the e-commerce, you can actually generate it. Good, so here we are. We have set up our Stripe payment method. So the next thing would be to add this payment method in our shop. So I'm selecting the right shop. I'm going to Stripe here. I'm adding Stripe, saving. And that's it for the configuration. All right, now that everything is set up, let's jump into the system and see it in action. We're now into the Odoo point of sales. Let's take a head and open it. And let's imagine a customer just walks in. Now we're going to add a product to our card, select the payment and go ahead and hit Stripe. Now the total is automatically sent to the connected Stripe terminal, no manual input needed. The customer tap his card, the payment is validated in real time and the sale is recorded in Odoo instantly. As you can see, it's fast, secure and fully integrated. No switching screens or manually entering amounts. That is what modern retail should feel like. Now that you've seen it in action, you can decide if this setup is right for your business. Okay, let's get into some troubleshooting. So what if something doesn't go according to plan? Let's go through a few common issues and how to fix them. The terminal is not responding. Check that it's properly powered and connected to the internet. Make sure it's registered in your Stripe dashboard under the correct shop. Restart the device and refresh the Odupos interface. Make sure the database and the terminal are in the same country and currency. API keys not working? Double check that you're using the live keys if you're in the production and the test keys for testing. Also make sure that there are no extra spaces when you paste them in Odoo. Payment method not showing in the POS? Ensure the payment method is linked to the correct POS configuration. Confirm that it's enabled and marked as available for use in sessions. Transaction not syncing back to Odoo? This can happen if there is a temporary connectivity issue. Try the following. Check Stripe status page for any service disruptions. Verify the internet connection on both the terminal and your main system. Ensure your terminal is linked to the same Stripe account that's connected to Odoo. That's it guys, thanks for watching!